Hello and welcome to Wee Willy Wonderfalls. We're doing a kit opening today and we have a bunny kit. We do quite a few versions of our bunnies because they're, they are so popular. Um, the one we're going to be opening is an alpaca bunny kit in grey and that's the one we're going to be making for the tutorial. Um, but all of the bunnies, even though they look quite different, um, are all from the same pattern. So if you have the Arthur or Betsy kit or one of our other bunny kits, don't worry, it's the same pattern, so exactly the same instructions to follow. But the good thing is, um, in your pattern booklet in the kit, you do um, get the patterns for all of the different bunnies, the variations. So it tells you what materials you need, what wool you need. So if you want to make one of the other bunnies, you can make one of those as well. Um, here is Arth Bunny. Look at him. He's just such a little sweetie. He's really popular for new baby gifts. Um, anybody gift? I'd love one of these. Look at that. I have them on my shelf, but if somebody made me one, I'd be very pleased. So this is Arthur. He's made with a really soft acrylic, so he's machine washable. He's brilliant for young children. And he also comes in a kit with two bunnies. So he comes with Betsy, but she's she's nipped out of the shop, so she couldn't be with us for the video. So there's Arthur. We also have Rosie Bunny. She's just a, a variation of Arthur, but the instructions for her are in the leaflet. And a later one we've got is, look at this, this is Lollipop the bunny. Say hi, Lollipop. <laughs> she's in beautiful rainbow colours. Look at her. She's a little bit bigger because she uses a thicker wool. Hello. <laughs> so she's a great one to make. And this particular one, as I say, is an alpaca bunny. Look at that. So be pretty. And um, we're going to show you what's in the kit. I just love kits. So excited. You never guess, would you, as soon as <laughs> we actually make kits. But there we go. So, oh, first thing we can see is our wool. And you've got 100 grams of a really lovely alpaca and wool mix. So it's really nice and soft. Um, so that's the wool for the bunny. And there's always more than enough. If ever you run short, even if it's because you're a beginner and you've managed to go wrong quite a few times or um, had to cut, cut it out, <laughs> throw it away, start again, always let us know because we will send you extra. No cost. So what else is in our little bag? Oh, look at that. Let's see a big bag of stuffing. So this bag, you can reuse, keep your stuffing in there. We don't like to use plastic bags to avoid them wherever possible. Now, our stuffing is called Supreme Ball Fibre Stuffing. It's a little bubbly and it's so soft and it's so easy to use because it's in little pieces. It doesn't clump up. Um, some stuffing tends into clumps so that when you've had the toy a while or if you wash it, it, it becomes lumpy and bumpy. This doesn't. And it's nice and easy to use because it's in little bits you can pop it right into this, the small pieces of the animal without too much bother. So you get the stuffing more than enough to fill your bunny. Look at that. Beautiful. So that's in that bag. So I'll pop that over there. Whoop, it's all spilling out, look. <laughs> what else have we got in our bag? We have got our crochet hook. And the ones we have in the kits are a soft grip, which means they're really comfortable to use. Uh, we did try a lot of different crochet hooks when we were creating our kits. Um, wooden ones, plastic ones, all different sorts. And this one just came out top because it was just so comfy to use. You can use it for quite a while without, without getting hand cramps or sore hands. So the hook that comes with it is the hook that you need. That's what I love about a kit. You get everything in. So you're not thinking, oh my goodness, what? What hook size do I need? What wool do I need? It's all done for you. So even better for beginners. Oh, we've got a little bag in here. <gasps> Look at this, all little things in it. This is the wool for Bunny's little bow. And when you order, you can actually request a different colour. Should you want to? Look at that. So that's the wool we'll use to make the bow. Pop that there. We've also got, so they're in a little bag, just so you can use that again as well. And this is the black wool, which is uh, for stitching the eyes. And you also have in here a needle with a wide eye. 
and the reason it's got a wide eye is so that you can thread it with the wool so you use the wool for sewing up so it's not visible so that's on there for safekeeping pop that there and you've also got two stitch markers now once we start doing the tutorial we'll show you what these are for but these are to mark your place or where you're up to when you're crocheting so you've got this one plastic one which you hook on and then just lock and these last forever i've got ones that i've had for years and they're brilliant so they're nice and easy to use but what's unique about our kits is that we also put in a little marker in the shape of the animal that you're making so this one as you can see it's got a little bunny head on so if you buy a line kit you get a line marker reindeer you get a reindeer marker you get you get the idea um so that's quite unique so you can either use that to mark your stitches or some people are fasten it to the bunny and, and use it as a little decoration but we wouldn't recommend that for young children apart from that's very nice we can just use them again and again um so that's the little bag with that and there's your stitch marker what else have we got in the bag do, do, do. we have the pattern look at that so it shows you all the different bunnies on the front all of their names and then inside it also tells you so all the materials you need for each of the bunnies how much of each quantity and that also tells you all the abbreviations which we're going to go through in the next lesson so what everything what everything means and then it's also got helpful pictures throughout just to give you guidelines on you know on how to, to fix things and lots of pictures on the back as well just to help you out so we'll try and make it as nice and straightforward as we can but we do write the pattern in a normal way so we we write it how a pattern would be written and the idea of this is that as you're going through the tutorials we're showing you what each each line means so that when you come to make another pattern you should be able to follow the pattern if you do a tutorial where um it's just showing you how to do it but not showing you what how that's written on a pattern you sometimes find that you just then can't read a pattern so when you're learning you want to be able to go on to make other things and this is why we do it this way look at that lovely and you can keep that forever make lots of bunnies <laughs> now the bag it comes in this is 100% cotton printed with our lovely logo so you can use this to gift the bunny in or keep using it as a project bag that's what a lot of people do um, and these are ethically produced as well look at that so it's a beautiful little bag so you've got everything in there if it was a kit for two bunnies then you would get double the stuffing double the wool so you would get enough to make both of them um and that's it really that's everything so the only other couple of things i'll mention is um we do get people asking why they get a hook that's a different size to what it says on the ball of wool uh, the reason for this is with amigurumi, which is where you're making the likes of uh, bunnies, like toys more than say things like hats and blankets, um, they have to be quite dense. As in, if you see here, if we use the hook that's recommended, which I believe is about a five millimeter, it would be very gappy, and you'd have big holes, and your stuffing would show through, which isn't a good look for a bunny so you have to use a hook which is a few sizes smaller than what the ball recommends but what we do is we work that out for you so you you know when you've got your kit it's exactly the right one you need um the pattern layout if anybody has one of our older kits it was more of a, a leaflet style that opened up if you're worried thinking oh my goodness is this the same can i follow this tutorial if i have the old pattern yes you can it's exactly the same pattern it's just a new layout which has got more pages more pictures just a little bit more user friendly um and also if you have one of our pdfs if you've downloaded um the download it's slightly different format just to make it easier to print out on a4 but the pattern is identical all the wordings are identical so don't worry you can still follow it exactly the same um only other thing to mention before we get started is our patterns are written in uk crochet terms and there are two different types where you have uk and us and the stitches have the same names but there are different stitches in each in each terminology so if you're following a different pattern at a later date 
always check that it's a UK pattern. Um, if it's US, you will need to um, translate it into um, so you can see which the stitches are, what they're equivalent to. So ours are UK terminology. Um, so it's just something to bear in mind, but honestly, don't worry. We're going to go through um, exactly what all of that means and how to make your bunny in the next tutorial. So grab a cup of tea and your kit and I will see you in a minute and we'll get started.